Welcome back. I practiced one level. <laughs> We're gonna skip the story. This is Let's Play fucking uh, Trauma Center. We're gonna I'm skip the story. Francis Chicken, and this is Tech. We're gonna skip the story. And I'm second player. Uh huh, let me close the door. No, we're gonna skip the story. We'll be in planning a base. No, we won't. <laughs> yada 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 And this is an Atlas game, and I love Atlas, and it's great. And this is a poor girl who's gonna fucking die, probably, because that guy's such a douchebag. Douche wibbler. And that guy wants drugs, and that was complete. This is completely unrelated. Yeah. Like absolutely no. Maybe it, maybe it comes up in the next one. It probably does, but right now it's completely random. Right now you need to. Oh, let's let me let me try this again. Pacemaker exchange operation. Since the patient is a child, a quick procedure is necessary to minimize the trauma. I did it. Let's. Okay. Look, pacemaker circle around her chest. Okay. I shall Let's be girl. Started. Let's get started. Let's uh, get started. Let's get down to... Okay, no. I'm sick of that song, just like everybody else. Okay, we're gonna skip the dialogue here. Okay, you just do whatever. Alright. Same as last time. Oh, right, we got defibrillate. Shut the fuck up, I don't care. Yeah, yeah, she's alive. I will give vitals. Scalp. Am I doing? What am I? Place the leads doing? on the tray. I'm making sure she doesn't die. Oh, great. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's what? not draining. What? What the fuck? I was trying to... Ugh. Cool. Alright. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. I'm trying to keep her alive, man. Okay. Now, place the old device on the tray. Wow! Fuck, I'm out! Okay. I'm ready. Catch leads to the device. Yeah, give her life. Now the first lead is ready. Use the ultrasound to make Fine. your decision. Now that you find the right Fine. spot, use the scalp. Fuck! What? What's going on, man? What the She's fuck? going. It, it happens whenever she goes into cardiac arrest. But then why do we have to get, like, why does it say, like, miss, miss, miss? I don't know. She's not. She's not happy. Okay, so then, fuck you, bitch. All right, vacuum. All right, I'm just, I'm just on fucking healing duty. I'm good. Now suture the slit. Wow, that sounds really dirty. Okay, she's gonna die for a sec. God damn it! Hey, okay, that's what you get when you have a patient with di heart attacks. <laughs> she's prone to dying. Oh god. Take it! Okay. Alright. Oh, crap. Drain that crap. For crap. Oh, great. God fucking. We were almost done, too. Darn. <sighs> okay, come on. I'm not talking because I'm trying to, like, focus. Let's activate the pacemaker. She'll be all right now. What the fuck? Yeah, we did it. Good job, Woo! Doctor. High five. Good enough. <laughs> that was pretty fucking loud. So. <laughs> See yeah, you. I am a rookie. Chloe, this is called an X-ray. It's a picture uh, of the inside. Uh oh, there's one sad music. This is the machine we put inside you during the operation. It's helping your heart beat. Hey. Wow, cool. That's what's inside me? That and a bunch of guts. It runs on electricity, <laughs> so there are a few things you need to be careful about. Elena will explain the rules to you, so listen carefully, okay? Did you see it? She's 
she's five. Isn't it she's not cool? gonna listen. Yes, it certainly is. But don't get carried away just because you feel better, okay? Now the pacemaker that's inside your chest is like a new friend, and it's going to Except be not. the rest of your life. Except when it breaks down and you need to replace it. Then you need to replace it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do another one. Alright, let's do it. Dependable pair. You know, the only reason that was short is because we skipped all yep. the dialogue. Yep. <laughs> is it gonna be druggy dude? Who the hell are these people? She's rich. It's LA. Of course, look at that freaking ass cat. Ascot? Ascot. Oh, are you here to see family? <laughs> She's pretty. If so, then the entrance is... <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's like not older Velma, man. I have an she dyed her hair. Rousseau, the chief surgeon, but no one's been able to get my message to him. Because he's a dick. If that's the case, then let me call for his secretary. I'm sorry to inconvenience you. Thank you, though. You are a doctor here, aren't you? Yes, my name is Valerie Wood. No, I just have the... Secretary's number. Have it's you seen my stuff? I was hoping I might get that a chance. That means doctor. To meet you. I, yes. Well, the professor is. He's very busy. I rarely see him myself. Well, I guess it can't be helped. But I'd still like to meet him someday. That's good for you, uh, rich lady. He must be Dr. Russo's secretary. Thank you. My name is Irene Quattro. I'm the director of Caduceus. Zinco. The They're the ones that lead research on the Zinco virus. Health and Human Services? Thank you very much for your help today. I appreciate it. That's where the first one took place. Oh. Hey, Marcus. <laughs> with, with Dr. Dr. Styles. It's already been ten days, and he still hasn't told us about his condition. I'm sure he hasn't forgotten. He must have his reasons. He sure is taking his time, considering the trouble he went to to bring us back here. Oh, oh by the way, back. this morning I met someone that was here to see Rousseau. I was surprised when she introduced herself. Take a guess who she was. What is this, gossip this now? <laughs> Bam. Very funny. Come on, be serious. I know him better than you do. Ooh. Well, it turns out she's the director of Caduceus. She oversees <laughs> all of the medical research Caduceus. institutions located in the U.S. That's she's a really Caduceus. dumb name. Actually, she seemed more interested in speaking with Professor Wilkins. I wonder mm. how she knows about him. Isn't Wait, it is strange? that Snape? Yeah. Okay. It's the guy that called him about me. the virus. Yeah. Doctor Bond, Doctor Blaylock, we need you in the OR. It's an emergency. What's the matter, Elena? It's an emergency. Three people were hit by a car. Two were in critical uh, condition. All right. Doctor Russo began treating the one who was in the worst state, but he left to treat a different patient and ordered you two to take the ones in critical condition. What a dick! We can't afford to waste any time. His life's in jeopardy. Ricardo Garcia. Broken left lower left coste and damaged spleen. Reconstruct the rib bones and treat the abdominal hemorrhaging. The okay. patient is Ricardo Garcia, a 35 year old male. He was in a car accident. He has injuries to the abdomen, including a few broken ribs and a pierced spleen. Okay. This doesn't look good. Obviously, he got hit by a car. <laughs> We need to treat his lacerations, repair his broken ribs, and attend to his spleen. Jesus. This will be a difficult operation. No wonder Russo took off so fast. Well, I'm sure we can handle it. We've analyzed his blood type and done the necessary screening and cross-matching. We've uh, also got an ample supply of blood on hand. All you need to worry about is the operation. So... So that means fucking nothing is what you're trying to tell me. Let's begin the operation. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Fuck, dude. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, fuck, I don't know what I'm done! You did better than me. Yeah, I did better than you. This screen's in bad shape, and his vitals are dropping because. I don't just electrocute the shit out of his lung. <laughs> Treat the bone fragments while treating the injuries. Okay, can we help this guy now? <laughs> Jesus. We'll have to close it first with the forceps. Oh, crap. Now pinch one side of the window. Oh, God. Be more careful. Okay. Now hurry up and suture it before the opening takes care of the largest wound. But don't forget about the others. Continue extract that. It's fucking hard. It's operation. Jesus, why is it so fucking big? Oh, Jesus! Oh, great, good, then googly moogly. The 
requires immediate treatment. Okay, you keep. Yeah. Oh, come on. Show him up. Take this, put there. Take this, and put there. There. I have healed him. You know something's gonna go wrong. Of course, it always does. She's uh, about to get cray cray. Okay. Um, okay. I like how this is way easier than the fucking arm. <laughs> it's in his lung. Fuck. <laughs> I may have messed up a little bit. Oh, Jesus! Fuck. How are you so calm? Oh, God. Oh, okay, okay. We just need to do this for a little bit. That's not the drainer. Okay, let's sew him up. As oh oh god oh wait 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 don't do it yet don't do it yet so, uh. <laughs> oops what on earth are you doing I can't allow this to continue uh, uh, the OR. you're mad you're a fucking mm. bitch okay yeah the doctor yeah. disappointed I'm himself. sorry Doc's I'm sorry I messed up. wait no we can't just do this again yeah, we can we're on a time limit ain't no we got time for that uh uh uh, oh, oh god, that's too much, little no fuck. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fucking shut up. <laughs> I need you operating. Oh god. Oh double god. Oh no. Oh okay. We need vacuuming time. Oh okay. Next time. We will get it on the next time. Shut up. How about your fucking bitch who can't speak English right? There. How does that make you feel? Fuck you. This is bullshit. Thank you for watching. Fuck.